So in 2022, I lost 1,360 subscribers, yet I gained 1.4 million views. And these are the stats that I wanna share with you guys about this channel. Now, I just posted a video over on Ginger Prime going over my main channel's stats, but one of the things that I've been working towards over the course of the last year is what is the impact of a breakout channel, a channel that is just focusing in on one game and so we're going to take a look at all of 2022 and i'm going to share with you guys my numbers and i hope that if this is going to give you some value whether you're a content creator yourself or thinking about becoming one or you just want to know what is going on behind the scenes this should hopefully give you some really interesting insight uh, if you are a content creator just note this is just me sharing my numbers with you you can compare and contrast and hopefully we can all get better uh, as content creators, uh, both in the terms of the content of the video and also the information that we have available at our fingertips. So let's go ahead and dive in and let's have some fun. First and foremost, my most viewed day was September 8th, 2022. You can see here the New World Returning Players Guide for 2022 was published and it really took off. A lot of people were hungry. This was going into the hype of Brimstone Sands of September and October. Uh, this was the biggest hype season that we've seen for New World since its launch. So this is really exciting to see. My second most viewed day uh, came on September 11th. Uh, in which that my new world uh, new players guide 2022 was published uh inviting people to come check out the game and more and those guides have continued to do uh very well for the channel itself now in terms of content that i publish here i only publish videos and shorts i haven't done live streams and so there's no live stream stats but you can see here out of my 1.4 million views 1.3 came from my videos and 70 thousand came from my shorts my average view for video is five minutes and six seconds where my average view duration on uh, the whole channel itself is five minutes and 53 seconds because that factors in the 30 second shorts then how do people discover my content well 39.8 of you uh percent discover it from browse features that means youtube is putting my videos in front of you on your home page or some way and you click on the videos and you check them out 28.7% uh, is coming from YouTube search. Uh, suggested videos is 15.6%. External is 5.5%. And 4.1% uh, is director unknown. And 6.2% is coming from other sources. My top 10 videos are listed here as follows. New World Returning Player Guide uh, listed up at the start at almost uh, 80,000 views itself with an average view duration of 7.3% or seven minutes, 30 seconds, and 34% of the video is watched itself. You can see my new player guide is my number two. The best way to level expertise for new and returning players is number three. Uh, my new world new player guide getting started in 2022 from earlier this year is number four. My new world starter build philosophy and player tips is my number five. My new world how to make gold in 2022 is number six. New world getting started healing guide is number seven. My new world steam deck ultimate setup guide is number eight. And the new one should hopefully be rolling out. I keep saying that but I am trying to make sure that it's thorough. Um, so we'll have to update that for 2023. My new world, how to level up fast, new and returning player guide number nine. And my new world, how to level fishing super fast guide is my number 10 most viewed video. In terms of my most earned content, how the videos perform monetarily, my new world returning players guide is my number one most re revenue generation video. My new world new player guide is my number two. My new world best way to level expertise is number three. New world new player guide is number four. And my new world my starter build philosophy is my number five most earning video. In terms of my month, oh, as I <laughs> bite my tongue accidentally, uh, revenue wise, September is my most highest earning month this year. October and November are the second most. Uh, December is my third and then August is fourth. And it says January ongoing. I don't know why it includes that because that's calculating as a part of the new year of 2023. I guess there is some lag or holdover uh, that ends up working. For revenue sources, my uh, it's most of it is coming from ad revenue, uh, a little bit of premium revenue for those of you who watch uh, without ads. I I am one of those premium users uh, for myself on YouTube, and it is great. Not a, they're not sponsoring me any reason. I just enjoy YouTube Premium, and then your transaction revenue, meaning uh, I think the number is twenty seven dollars. I didn't actually get it, but that's coming from the super thanks that people have left on videos, which was really most surprising. And let me just say thank you guys so much for those super thanks. That was surprising, shocking. And um, yeah, if you guys like the content, you can always feel free to do that uh, too. And we'll see how we do in 2023. 
for shorts this is going to be the big question i know a lot of creators myself are always interested in i've gotten 70,000 views from shorts 2,000 likes from shorts and i picked up 73 subscribers from shorts in 2022 my top performing shorts are as ashes of creation it's going to look like it struggled new world how to solve the great uh, architects jumping puzzle new world how to find hidden chests up high uh, i didn't lie to you and uh studies have shown so these are two comedic uh, ones have done pretty well um, but yeah, some shorts performance overall, pretty cool. Um, viewers also watch uh, Five Head Survival Gaming, uh, Duke Sloth, J Oddity, BDLG, and Lamoni. Uh, awesome content creators. I actually have not heard of Duke Sloth. I'm going to have to check them out after this video. Overall, I gained 10,800 subscribers this year. It's actually more, but when you factor in the ones that I've lost, overall, a really great performing year here. Uh, for the channel itself for year one uh, impressions i got 15.2 million with 5.8 percent click-through rate overall for the year for where you guys are coming from united states 44 percent united kingdom 6.4 percent germany 5.4 percent canada 5 point uh, percent uh, australia there we go 3.6 percent good day uh, watch time from subscribers 83.8 percent of you are not subscribed to the channel uh, and 16.2% of you are. So welcome you sexy beasts here at uh, the 16% of you guys are sexy beasts. 83.8% of you guys are potential sexy beasts. So if you feel like this video earns it or those videos earn it, be sure to hit that subscribe button as it helps out the channel immensely. For those of you who have then gone and rung the notifications bell, 7.8% of you, a, a, an estimated 850, have uh, turned on all notifications for my channel. Then I have subscribers who've turned on all notifications for my channel and enabled YouTube notifications. Uh, that's like emails and things like that. That's at 5.4%. So roughly 586 of you. So I guess if I calculate and add those both in, who knows, uh, at least every video should get a thousand views. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Uh, age and gender breakdown. We have female coming in at 3%. So hello, ladies. Uh, we've got male at 97%. What's up, dudes? Uh, yeah, that seems kind of be a typical breakdown. Uh, I shared on Prime. I think my female percentage is 9%. So uh, I guess Prime gets the ladies. <laughs> we'll have to go from there. Uh, the age breakdown, uh, the general age range is going to be for this channel, 18 to 54 years of age, constituting the greatest breakdown uh, there. Now, as we shift into the focus for the future, what do I want to do? Well, goals for 2023 here are well, we got a new baby due at the end of April or early May. We will find out if it's a boy or a girl. That's usually how we kind of roll with it. So just kind of stay tuned to the channel. I'll be sure to make that announcement. Uh, if you guys didn't know I was having another baby, uh, I'm not personally having it, but I participated in it. Uh, the uh, You can sound off in the comments. So congrats on the baby, etc. Uh, we also have, I want to invest in my family and my health. One of the things I did for the live stream, which we stream uh, on Fridays. If you guys ever want to come hang out, you don't even have to be playing New World. We're just hanging out, talking video games, making jokes. Um, is I went to the gym before I went and played. So I felt great. Honestly, I'm going to keep doing that. So just uh, if you guys are interested, that's going to be continuing to invest in my overall health and well-being as well as the time with my, my kids. Uh, I'm also going to continue to invest in my comedy career. So if you guys are in the Fort Worth area, uh, January 21st, going to be live at Hyenas. Uh, and that's going to be 8 p.m. Central Time uh, kickoff. Uh, so I'm very much excited about putting it on that show. Hopefully you guys are, if, if you're in the area and want to come for a night of comedy, it's adult themed. That's, you know, so if you get easily offended, you know, we'll, we'll maybe just come hang out on the live streams. A lot, lot, lot less offensive there. Uh, then essentially in terms of my gaming and channel content here, I want to focus more on obviously my evergreen content. You can see that is essentially driving both the discovery and also like helping to uh, do revenue. Now, I don't really share a lot of public, but I usually mostly invest the money back into the channel or I also help people out. Uh, and, you know, from a charity perspective, I think it's important that that's a, a aspect of our lives. Uh, obviously, like, you know, the numbers aren't insane. Like, you know, you can see the, the bars when I go back to just the revenue uh, and how it's generated. Like, these bars look great, but they don't really represent an insane amount of money. They just represent a ranking. Now, going back to the top earning content itself, you can see just the blue bars themselves. But yeah, it represents a nice chunk of money and it's allowed me to do a couple of really great things this year. Uh, but most of that money has actually been reinvested back into trying to create shorts. And obviously, I don't think that essentially is paying off. We'll see here in 2023 what ends up happening. So I do, guys, appreciate your support here on this channel over on Twitch. It worked a game uh, for those of you come and hang out and use those prime subs. It's a great way of supporting content creators for free if you have 
the Amazon Prime, those Bezos bucks. You can drop them on anybody over on Twitch once a month uh, as a great way of saying thank you and also having an ad-free experience over there. I'm sure ads are getting out of hand. So I'm going to continue to invest in um, my guides and my content here and hopefully bringing you guys uh, the best kind of news coverage and the best discussion videos. Ideally, the guides and the news kind of lead into interesting discussions. So always weigh in with your comments. Hopefully you've been enjoying those video breakdowns where I kind of highlight your y'all's comments and we basically have a discussion. We talk about exactly what's going on uh, with the game itself. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm going to continue to invest in this channel and also on my other breakout channels, the Ginger Blue Gaming channel just got monetized. Ginger Prime is gearing up uh, for Throne and Liberty in Diablo 4. I'm also very much excited to play Final Fantasy 16. When we look at the dance card for 2023, it's pretty stacked, right? When we have New World, Blue Protocol, Throne and Liberty, Destiny 2, Lightfall, and Diablo 4. It's going to be a jam pack year, a lot of games to play. And then Final Fantasy 16 is going to just be, a, um, it's a must play for me. I'm just a huge Final Fantasy nut. And I'm very much excited to jump into uh, that game as soon as I can find a PlayStation. I actually bought the game. Uh, I got the collector's edition. I just have not yet found a PS5. So hopefully I'll get a hold of the PS5 before June. So anyway, June's going to be jam-packed and stacked. Uh, this is going to be a fun year for video games and talking about all the things that are going on. Lots of interesting developments in the world of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you got something good from this video. Hopefully I will see you in my next video. Happy New Year, you amazing uh, sexy beasts to the 18% of you who are that. And hopefully we'll get that number up more and more uh, this year. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for coming along this journey. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully uh, you have a great weekend and hopefully we'll see you next time. But until then, take care.